So you just bought a MacBook and you're wondering which USB-C multi-port hub is for you? Stick around and I'll share my review of these two. So I recently made the switch to the MacBook Pro 2020. It is great. I love it. The only thing is it only comes with two USB-C inserts over here with a headphone jack. And then on the other side, it has two more USB inserts. So here's the issue. I'm coming from a Windows laptop that actually has a USB insert as well as a, a SD card, things like that, that I need because I do a lot of video. Now, I'm not a super techie guy, but I do a lot of video and I need it to be as easy as possible. Now I'm filming this on uh, my iPhone 11. So airdropping it is super easy and it's really one of the things that convinced me to do this. But then when it comes to using a camera that has an SD card or a GoPro that has a, a micro SD card, or occasionally I will use a USB, or sometimes I'll even use an HDMI insert for certain things, I'm kind of in need of something. And so that comes into play with these multi-port hubs uh, that fit into the USB-C slots. Now you can spend all sorts of money on them. And so I decided to go on Amazon, find the one, the more popular ones, which was this one for $20. This one is from Best Buy, which was $80, was good reviews and everything, and so I wanted to test them out. To be honest with you, I'm kind of cheering for the cheap guy because I think most people would rather spend 20 than they would 80. So let's get started and see how they compare to each other. This is the Platinum, the more expensive one, and I just want you to see what all's on it. There's two USBs, there's one HDMI, and then there's an Ethernet. And then on the other side, there are two USB-C uh, slots and then an SD and a micro SD. So quite a few things on there. So there's that one. But then also here's the lesser expensive one, the Moken, that I actually got off of Amazon for $20. And this one actually has an HDMI in the end. And then on this side, it has two USBs, a micro SD and then an SD. So not as many features, but um, this one has everything that I need, so I'm hoping that it works just as well. So let's check it out. Okay, first one up is the Platinum, the more expensive one. I've got an SD card in, and we're going to move a about an eight and a half minute video file from there to the desktop, uh, which it actually exists already, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Let's see how long that takes. Okay, here we are with the Moken, which is the less expensive one. I have the SD card in, and we're gonna move the exact same file as the other one over to the desktop, and we're gonna keep both. Okay, here we are with the Platinum, and we're doing the micro SD. It's hard to see that in there, but it's in there. And we are gonna move a nine minute 4K video over to the desktop. Okay, here we are with the Moken again, the, the less expensive one. I have the micro SD in right there. And we are gonna move the same exact 4K video over that we did earlier. And of course we're gonna keep both and see how long it takes. And here we are with the Platinum with the USB in there and I'm gonna move another video file over uh, to the desktop. And here we are with the Moken in the USB, and we are going to move over the same exact file uh, that we did earlier. And we're gonna keep both. Well, so there you go. I've used these for several days before making this video just to test them out. And I gotta tell you that the speed of these are really close to the same. This may be a little faster, but not enough to warrant spending 60 more dollars. But I'm gonna tell you the one thing that I really don't like about this is that micro SD card slot. Um, because if you, when you put it in there, um, this is not all the way in. Actually, you have to go all the way in. I don't know if you can hear it click, but it's, it's gone. I mean, it just disappeared. 
And in order to be able to get it out, um, you have to uh, either have a good fingernail, which I don't have a long fingernail. So I had to go retrieve a paper clip and uh, push down on that to get it out and then pull it out. Now, when you compare that to the lesser expensive one that I got on Amazon, the Mokin, then uh, I put that in there and that is inserted completely, as you can see. And then for me to get it out, I just do that. And so um, speed's about the same. I don't need the ethernet port. You may need that. Um, so everything that I need is right here. And I love the SD card slot. And I love the fact that it's $20 compared to $80. And it's slimmer. And it's I think it takes up less space in my camera bag. So hopefully this helps you make your decision. I'll be giving my more expensive one away to a really good friend. And I'll be keeping the slim one. So either way, thanks for watching.